Hey everyone, this is Wrecker. Welcome back to another build video. So the one that I'm sharing with you guys today is the ultimate tank build. And why I say ultimate is because uh, you will see other variations out there where you are using uh, debuff talents or, you know, trying to put out damage as well uh, with a bunch of armor. It's not that kind of tank build. It's basically trying to be as tanky as possible, not only yourself, but your shield and making sure that the shield doesn't go down no matter what happens. So I have made sure that we are fully immune to disrupt as long as we can. Uh, so basically we are 100% immune to the disrupt, uh, which is the only thing that can take your shield down other than raw damage that you are getting from all the enemies so not only that we do have 70 percent hazard protection to protect us from other status effects but also 2.1 million armor and then in addition to that we've got uh, a bunch of other bonuses which will be restoring uh your health your armor but not only you your shield as well so uh which basically all synergizes very very well with each other so uh with all that said please like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are just a tiny bit away from getting 1000 subs on this channel so if you haven't already please do so and uh let's begin okay so starting off with the specialization we are running technician for this one uh the primary reason for that is the artificer hive so that's really important because i would highly recommend running the artificer hive uh, which can only be unlocked from the technician spec uh, because that particular skill is gonna keep your shield up most of the time so that's really important also we are getting other perks as well like uh, an additional skill tier then we have 12 percent more damage to robotics which is really good when it comes to legendary white task so that's really good to have now starting off with the weapons uh the primary and the secondary weapons are really not that important because you won't be using them at all uh because you will be holding your bulwark shield and then with a pistol so that's the only thing that's important and for that we are running liberty as a primary fire weapon uh for this build so it comes with 15% uh, pistol damage and the 10% damage to targets out of cover, but that's really good. The talent that it comes with, it's called Liberty or Death. Hits grant plus 2% weapon damage, stacks up to 30 times, so full on full stacks. We'll be getting 60% weapon damage. Uh, then the bottom part says headshots consume all stacks, repairing your shield for 3% per stack. So basically, let's say if you have full stacks, that's... 30 stacks if you take a headshot you don't even have to kill an enemy you just have to take a headshot one single shot and you will restore 90 percent of your shield back to full health so that's insanely good so i would highly recommend using this pistol for this tank build okay so starting off with the gear pieces of course we are running four piece foundry bulwark two piece gets us 10 percent total armor three piece gets us 1% armor regen and 50% shield health. The four piece gets us the main talent for the gear set. It's called makeshift repairs. Whenever you or your shield take damage, 20% of that amount is repaired to both over 15 seconds. So that's really good. Uh, now you have to keep in mind that it is working in conjunction with the bonus that we get from the Liberty pistol. So basically uh, this far we are getting are shield restored by two talents that's makeshift makeshift repairs this one uh, but also the liberty pistol so by the way it's not only restoring your health on your shield but also yourself so that's the white armor as for the attributes uh, of course we're running all blues core attribute armor then we have 10 percent hazard protection and then i have slotted in a 10% disrupt resistance mod. Now I would like to mention here that for this certain setup you have to run hazard protection on all pieces along with uh, any other uh, minor attribute that you can run for. I would highly recommend running either the armor regeneration or explosive resistance 
uh, those are really do good alternatives if you want to run that. But hazard protection is really important is because as I mentioned in the intro, you have to make sure you're fully immune to uh, stealth effects because if you're getting bleed, fire, shocked or you know disrupted, you're not a tank uh, is what I believe. So you should be immune to all these status effects if you're a tank because if you're getting status affected by any uh, of these effects, uh, you're not getting the job done right because if the tank is shocked or disrupted, it's not a good tank is what I believe. So I would highly recommend running hazard protection with disrupt resistance mods on all three pieces to get the most out of it. So moving on to the next piece. Uh, of course, uh, on all other three pieces for the Foundry Bulwark, we are running the same attributes, hazard protection on all of them. As you can see, armor, hazard protection. Same thing on the knee pads, armor, hazard protection. And lastly, same thing on the holster, armor and hazard protection. Now for the backpack, I'm running a Bellstone piece, which gives us a 1% armor region brand bonus. That's really good because now we are at 2% armor region, 1% from the gear set and 1% from this uh, brand set bonus. So as for the attributes, of course, all blues, armor core attribute, then we have armor region, hazard protection, and yet again, a 10% disrupt resistance mod. As for the talent, I have went for protector. When your shield is damaged, you gain plus 5% bonus armor and all other allies gain 15% of your armor as bonus armor for 3 seconds. Cooldown is also 3 seconds. So pretty much all of the time this buff will be off because for the entire duration it doesn't have any uh, reset cooldowns. So uh, once the bonus armor is applied to all the teammates and yourself, you can just apply it again uh, uh, after 3 seconds. So that's really good. So I would highly recommend running Protector. Yes, there are other alternatives that you can run if you want to. But then again, for this setup, the talents that I'm running are very, very specific and uh, only slotted in to serve a specific purpose to be the ultimate tank. Because I'm again, as I said in the intro, I'm not going for any debuffs or you know trying to uh, boost the damage for your enemies. You're just trying to be a simple tank, which can take as much damage as there is in the game, uh, all to yourself, while your teammates can output and clear the content as fast as possible. That's the ultimate goal here for this build. But anyhow, moving on to the last piece. Now this is a very special one, the chest piece that I'm running. It's a named chest piece from Gilagad. It's called the Point Man. The one piece uh, brand bonus gets us 5% total armor, so that's really good to have. By the way, I forgot to mention, as you can see in the stats, we are at 2.1 million armor. So that's insanely huge, good number. Uh, so anyhow, the attributes, again, all blues, core attribute armor, 10% hazard protection, armor regen and then again a 10% disrupt resistance mod. By the way, you will only get 100% immune for disrupt status effect if you slot in three of the uh, mods that I am running for disrupt resistance but also has a protection in all six pieces. Only then you will be at 100%. So just to let you know. For the talent that it comes with, it's called Perfect Vanguard. Deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for 5 seconds and grants 50% of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies for 20 seconds. Now this, this does apply to the entire team. So it doesn't matter if you're running in a 4 group, 2 group or an 8 group activity, it does apply to everyone. Now the reason why I like to run this one instead of the exotic chest, uh, I forgot the name but it gives you bonus armor whenever the armor breaks for one of the allies, is because with this one I do have more control over when I want to give bonus armor to the whole team. So basically it gives you bonus armor for 20 seconds for the entire team but I can deploy it after 5 seconds. So after each reset, which is basically after 20 seconds, the 25 second cooldown goes away and I, I can just push the button again 
uh, deploy my shield one more time and then boom the entire team gets the bonus armor so it doesn't matter if they need it or not you can just keep deploying it every 25 seconds and your team will keep getting bonus armor and that's a huge amount as well since we are running 2.1 million armor 50% of this one and also the other chunk that we are getting from the backpack talent that's a huge chunk of bonus armor as you will see in the gameplay so i would highly recommend running this chest piece for this certain build but if you want to use anything else like the exotic chest or any other talent that's your call but i believe this is the best talent to run if you are going for the ultimate tank setup Okay, so going over the skills real quick, as I mentioned in the intro, we are running the Artificer Hive. Again, this only unlocks if you're using the Technician Specialization, you make sure you have to run that. Uh, because this basically is gonna restore your shield health 22%, uh, uh, you know, every less than seven seconds. As you can see the stats here, the refill speed is 6.8 seconds so basically every seven seconds it's gonna uh, restore your health on your shield by 22 percent as you can see at the bottom here it says skill repair 22 percent now it's only a tier one artificer hive uh, but still these are really good numbers considering it's only a tier one artificer hive right then we have 1.3 million health, uh, the buff amount 20%, buff duration 10 seconds. So these are really good numbers and I would highly recommend, in fact, I would say this build won't work the same if you do not run Artificer High. So I would highly recommend running this if you want to get the best results from this setup. As for the mods, I'm running 10% uh, duration, 10% range. By the way, these two mods come with the specialization uh so that's why we're getting 10 percent usually they are a le lot lesser than that i believe five percent but with the specialization mods you get the 10 percent uh percentage uh the third one uh it doesn't really matter the stim efficiency it used to work but i don't think this attribute works anymore so you can run whatever you like it's just in there you know because it doesn't bother me at all so you can run whatever you need uh, as you can see, being a skill tier 1 Artificer High, we're getting plus 4 charges, 100% charge efficiency, 2% uh, skill refresh, 10% uh, range, 10% drone speeds, plus 70% health. So that's really good. Now, moving on to the next skill. Okay, so the primary skill that we are running, of course, that's the Bulwark Shield. The setup that we are running is not complete without this Bulwark Shield because all the attributes, all the buffs that we are getting from the gear set, from the Artificer Hive, but also the Liberty Pistol, all those buffs are primarily being applied to your shield, uh, you know, within a few seconds. So you have to make sure you are running this particular setup uh, with this shield, uh, because I have made sure the health for the shield is really, really high, because when we get the restoration from all those three buffs uh it gets back really really good so i can almost guarantee you that if you play right uh your shield won't go down because it's really really tanky uh it's getting repairs within a few seconds all three uh, from the gear set from the artificer hive uh, the liberty pistol but not only that it's also fully immune to disrupt. The only thing, the only status effect that can take down your shield is the disrupt status effect. And to that, we are 100% immune, which I will show you in a bit on the stats. We are 100% disrupt resistant on this build. So as for the stats uh, on the shield, we got 18 second cooldown, which you will never have to do because I, as I said, it's not gonna go down so you don't have to worry about the cooldown as for the health as you can see it's a 14 million shield health now these are base numbers these are th these numbers are without any buffs that we are getting from gear set or any other source so 14 million as a base health for this shield uh active region that's 179k holster region that's 185k so these are really good numbers now on top of that as you can see 
all the shields in the game do scale up with the blue attributes, not only yellow ones. So because we're running all blues as a core attribute armor, we have a tier 6 shield. So on top of all those numbers that I just showed you, we are getting plus 120% active regen, plus 400% shield health, and plus 40% holster regen. So that's insanely good for a tank. As for the mods, I'm running 5% damage because there is no other health mod that I can run in this slot. But on the other two, as you can see, we're running 5% active regen and then 5% shield health. So I would highly recommend running any of the shield health mods or the regen mods. Those really help out with this setup. So these are the skills I'm running. Okay, so before I show you the overview for the whole build, these are the stats when it comes to the blue tank attributes. I'd say we are at 2.1 million armor as the baseline. So that's a really high number. That's really good. Then we have uh, 51,000 armor region. By the way, this is just the main base attribute that is being listed here uh, from the minor attributes on the old uh, on the pieces for the gear. It's not adding in the boosted armor region that we will be getting from makeshift repairs from the gear set and the other bonuses. So keep that in mind. Uh, then we have 350k health. That doesn't matter because it, it is entirely dependent on your shade rank. Uh, then we have uh, the hazard protection. As I said earlier, we are at 70% hazard protection uh, from the entire bill. So for all of the other status effects, we are 70% uh, covered. Uh, but as you can see here, we are at 100% disrupt resistance. So that's really, really important. I would highly recommend again to run three mods if you have them, 10% uh, disrupt resistance to get at that 100%. Uh, because only then your shield is completely invincible. Uh, there is nothing that can take it down. So these are the stats for the entire build. Okay, so this is the entire build everyone. Uh, we are using the technician spec, four piece foundry bulwark, uh, one piece bellstone armory with protector as a backpack talent, and then one piece gilagod, uh, the named chest piece, which is called point man. It comes with perfect vanguard. As for the skills, we're running the artificer hive and the bulwark shield. So. If you have any questions regarding the build, feel free to ask them in the comment sections below. I will answer them as fast as possible. And as always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and enjoy the gameplay. I will see you in the next one.
critical. Get them out, son! Wait one! Fix them! 